It has been so great watching this young 16-year-old on the senior circuit this year. And in particular, this program, they, she actually incorporates sign language into this. Um, says that she wants everyone to feel welcome into the program, feel the emotion as well. And how skaters cope as they're waiting to go out and the other marks are coming up for the previous skater. She had her fingers in her ears, so she couldn't hear what Radianova's score was. And if you notice, the sound is quiet when her hands are over her ears. It explodes when she opens her hands. Definite message from this program, very creative. Unlike Radionova, she's a little more calm in the upper body. And this particular combination, very clean on the landing. She got a little tense in the short program last night after missing the combination jump, having to find another one. No problem with that tonight. There's her arm over her head. You're going to see that in nearly every jump that she does. Gives her a little extra bullet for originality and quality. Very easy to see what her message is, her goal. Not a lot of waving and floundering of the upper body. The pacing of this program is absolutely beautiful. After the intensity, it comes down, it gives you a chance to get your breath. Her two. That's when it starts getting and feeling special. She has kept the speed up, the intensity. She is in every moment, not thinking of what's coming up. She's omnipresent. said this program had a clear message and I now know exactly what it is. I want to be world champion. A beautiful performance by Evgenia Medvedeva. She won the World Junior Championship last year. She's looking to become the first woman to then win it at the senior level the very next year. And she just made a great case for herself. 
Satoko Miyahara of Japan just can't watch. But we can definitely watch and look forward to her program next. Victory there, Evgenia Medvedeva, it definitely was. From Russia, a strong, strong skate by the 16-year-old. Well, there's a reason she's been so successful this year, and it's exactly because of performance after performance, just like that one. Technically, you're looking at a blade that rotates almost all of her jumps and finishes the rotation far enough that it allows the judges to give you full content, and then, hey, because it was good, we're gonna give you a little extra, and that's when you start winning. When you get a little bonus mark on every element in your long program, your score starts to exponentially grow. And then the big picture of from the middle, I mean, the beginning to the middle to the end also looks better. And when you don't make any mistakes, you allow the judges to see the design of the whole program, and that's what she does well. Doesn't hurt to look like that either. Well, she has set top scores this season in the short, long, and total for her first year on the senior circuit. She's already making history here. And she is very pumped about that performance. 136.06 is going to be the score to beat to take the top spot here. It's about three points Her out of first. So she's, she's setting the bar high. One, one fifty point one zero. That's also a top three program score. The original really? was one fifty point zero six set by Yuna Kim in oh the 2010 gosh. Olympics. Ooh, really? I was kind of joking when I said she's making history already, but she's <laughs> continuing to make history. <laughs> I love that she doesn't even know it. She has no clue. No, she has no clue. Not bad for a debut season. And that's what quality on quality piled up. That's, that's your right. quote, Carol, Carol. When you pile quality on quality, it just grows like money in the bank. She's going to figure it out very quickly that she set an incredible three-program score. Everyone in Korea 